I'm here at Westmount Mall's Kidney Care Center to hear Robert's story on how he's working towards his dream of becoming an opera singer while battling kidney failure. I was calming down my family saying, okay, it's going to be fine. We're going to figure out what's going on. I knew I wanted to do a uh, fistula because uh, I was worried um, uh, about the perm cath affecting my singing. And it was after that all the emotions kind of uh, rush back and uh, yeah. So I do dialysis four times a week uh, for uh, three times is three hours on the machine and once is two and a half hours. And then as you saw, it takes some time to get on the machine and it takes a little time to get off the machine. So it's definitely a part-time to full-time job just managing dialysis. So as we can see, um, so I've got uh, two needles uh, hooked up to my arm. Uh, they take the blood. Uh, it goes through this machine. You can see over there, there's this filter. It kind of looks like a pool filter. And there's thousands of capillaries in there that are hollow. And they're filled with what's called dialysite. And dialysite is uh, a liquid that's uh, made of uh, uh, electrolytes, uh, uh, mainly uh, salts and other things. And what it's doing is it's acting as an artificial kidney and it's binding some of those toxins out to that my kidneys normally filter out. I knew that I was still gonna be in music some way or another. And so uh, I changed and in some ways, I think I'm gonna have a more fulfilling career. I'm Briar Wilson, XFM News.